Continuous patrolling of forest is one of the most crucial works for forest protection which is carried out at times jointly with the forest officials and the members of Joint Forest Management Committee, in short JFMC. Under the Joint Forest Management System, protection to forests is to be provided by the JFMC members and in lieu they are entitled to one-fourth of the revenue generated along with wages for felling. At Arabari, in the district of Midnapur, the system of JFM with people's participation was conceptualized and introduced by forming JFMCs of willing members of forest fringe villages. Although the JFM system brought in significant success in protection of forests, yet for grassroots level participation, particularly in the matter of management and effective implementation of JFM-oriented activities, the National Afforestation and Eco-Development Board, NAEB under Ministry of Forests and Environment, Government of India, launched the Samannit Gram Vanikaran Samriddhi Yojana, SGVSY, in 2000-2001 having a decentralized approach and a speedy fund transfer mechanism to be executed through forest development agencies or FDAs, which are the confederations of JFMCs within that forest division. Under the 10th plan, NAB introduced a National Afforestation Program or NAP scheme by replacing SGVSY but upscaling its project experience and converging all afforestation schemes of the 9th plan period. Regional Center NAB Jadhapur University, Kolkata is one of the 7th regional centers functioning in 7 regions of India under NAB that are assisting the state forest departments in meaningful implementation of NAP through FDAs. The National Afforestation Program has been launched mainly to address not only the afforestation issues but also the eco-restoration of the areas which has already been degraded, some of the forested areas. At the same time, the main important or the one of the primary objective of the National Afforestation Eco-Development Board is to enhance the uh, conditions of the poorest of the poor who are living by the side of the forests. The district of Midnapur was once the largest district of the state of West Bengal till its reorganization in 2002 and is distinct for its luxuriant sal coppice and miscellaneous forest. In this district, having over 33% of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes population, the Rupnaran Forest Development Agency came into being in the year 2002 by involving 73 numbers of JFMCs for which microplan has been prepared. These JFMCs are distributed within nine bits under Amlagora, Gorbeta, Humgar, Mahalisai and Gualtor ranges of Rupnaran Forest Division. JFM is not a good thing. We have to do a lot of work in the JFM. We have to do a lot of work in the JFM. We have to do a lot of work in the JFM. We have to do a lot of work in the JFM. We have to do a lot of work in the JFM. We have to do a lot of work in the JFM. We have to do a lot of work in the JFM. एवं यही जे जूंथों कोन पड़ी चलो लागू साइट है थाका जूने किन्तु आज के जंगल मॉले पड़ा दुबारा में जाते लोगों ने काज करे चे तार किन्तु सिक्की भाग किधी तो किन्तु एक जेफिम सिस्टम है एबीडीए संस्था एबीडीए संस्था का आईटी एक अस्वच्छता एवं कारण स्वच्छता क्या नो अमरा गामेर मानुषेर माना तारा स्वागत ज्वाइन अकाउंट खुले, सही टाका रिजुलेशन करे, टाका तूले, सेकेने काज कम महोय, स्वच्छता रूप रहा है। Since inception, the Rupnaran FDA has undertaken various activities under SGVSY and NAP schemes to secure forests and the lives of the forest fringe dwellers by creating alternate livelihood opportunities based on optimum utilization of natural resources and providing social amenities. The region being endowed with sal coppice forest, sal leaves are used intensively for making plates and other commodities having commercial value. 
The methods of intercropping have been introduced with planting of two or more crops in proximity, producing a higher yield, making best use of available resources. The plants used in the intercropping are generally Kalmeg, Aloe Vera, Arhar, Charmaric, Sarpagandha and Nayantara. While these plants have high commercial and medicinal value, the forest division also provides the people with the much needed market boost for selling out the products. Options like nursery raising and pisciculture are being introduced to the people so that they get the maximum exposure to earn their living without causing harm to the forest out of their needs. <laughs> With a view to minimizing the problems caused by the elephants on the lives of the forest fringe dwellers, the FDA incorporated a change in the cropping pattern. The idea is to introduce those crops in the forests which are being preferred by the elephants like bamboo so that they don't spoil the crop in cultivated land and also to plant those crops in the fields which are not liked by them. To improve rural connectivity and standard of living of the people, the agency constructed roads and earthen dams. The dams serve multiple purposes like water recharge by rainwater harvesting, providing water for irrigation to the farmers besides conserving soil and moisture. The education has been one of the major priorities with the advent of schooling in the interiors. Accessibility to drinking water has been a radical step while water for household purposes has also been made available. Forest fires occur quite occasionally in the territory leading to vast damage of the forests and its resources as they spread rapidly damaging all regeneration and undergrowth. The JFMC members and the Forest Division workforce are always on their toes to prevent the hazards of forest fires. To highlight the objectives to the forest fringe people and to finalize mode of execution of various FDA components, quite often meetings are held with JFMC members in their villages in which forest officials like range officer and beat officers participate. In these meetings, emphasis is given on women empowerment by encouraging them to be bold and vocal to take part in decision making. Evening time is chosen for meetings as during daytime they are primarily occupied with their farming activities. The JFMCs under the Ruknaran FDA have enabled the forest protection and preservation at the very grassroots level with the cooperation of the local people and this approach has also been a boon in case of dealing with the regional problems like elephant depredation and extremist activities. Marching ahead with notions of development, sustainability and prosperity there has been a reason for every villager to smile, from saving the forests to the gaining of livelihood opportunities and long-term assets. When it comes to dusk, the villagers celebrate and rejoice, welcoming the dawn of the day ahead.